Welcome back to the wood shop. Well, the price of lumber right now is sky high, so we're going to be doing another project for our reclaimed wood series. Here we have some uh, planks of wood that came off some pallets, and if you've not discovered pallet wood, it's a great economical way to make some really great and useful things for around the house or for a gift or whatever you want to make. Um, we've chosen a couple of different types of wood, and we're excited to see how our key and mail holder is going to come together. Now when we're using pallet wood, our first step is usually the same, plane these down to the same thickness. Okay, our key and mail holder is going to be 17 inches in width. That means we have to rip five of these boards down to three inches wide and we will leave four half inch gaps in between. That gives us a 17 inch panel. All right, we've moved over to the miter saw, and I just want to recap um, the pieces that we have. We're getting ready to flush these and cut them to length. We've got a couple pieces right here. We're not real sure what it is. It kind of looks like cherry, um, but it was a really nice, pretty wood. This is actually going to be used for our mail pocket. And then we've got five pieces here of just some pine. These are going to be used for the slatted panel. We're going to paint these white. So we're going to go ahead, like I said, flush these up, cut them to length, and then move on. All right, now we have our stop block set at 15 inches on the miter saw. That'll make sure everything's uh, all the same, make it nice and easy. We're going to cut all of these pieces at 15 inches. We're going to cut both of these pieces for the pocket at 15 inches. Then after we get done with that, we have these, I think they're about one and a quarter, one and a half, something like that, strips. These are going to go on the back of the panel, and we're going to cut these at 17 inches. So we will have to reset the stop block. No big deal. Let's get to work. Now for the sides of our pocket, we're going to cut a piece of wood that's six inches long. After that, we'll cut it on the diagonal and we should have two equal triangles. All right, before we assemble our key and mail holder, we're just going to hit all these pieces of wood with some 120 grit sandpaper. Well, it looks like we're ready to put this thing together. We've got all of our slats laid out here. They're a half inch spaced apart. Got our ties laying down here. We're going to put some glue on them and use uh, one inch brad nails to secure them down. And I think we're ready to start. Let's do it.
All right, before we finish assembling our key and mail holder, I'm going to start by staining the side panels for our mail pocket and painting the whole panel. It would be really difficult to paint the panel after the pocket is fully constructed. So we'll get started on that and then I'll stain uh, the front of the panel. After all that's finished, then we'll finish putting the pocket together. close now all we have to do is nail on these two boards that make up the front of our mail holder and install five of these little cup hooks to hang keys on and we'll be done Well, that's it. It's another addition to our Reclaimed Wood series, Key and Mail Holder, made out of pallet wood. Now, we've given this a farmhouse style finish, but definitely feel free to have fun with it. If this isn't your taste, you can just stain the whole thing. You can paint it different colors. And you can also use different hooks. These here are pretty inexpensive. A pack of eight of them was only like two bucks, and there are definitely more fancy options out there. It just depends on your budget and your style. We think this is going to work out really great. We have a real problem with just laying our mail all over the counter, throwing our keys wherever there's a space. So let's see how this is going to work out. Mail looks good. Keys hang good. I say that's a winner. If you've enjoyed today's episode, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Never miss an episode of What Songs by Russell. We're also on Facebook, so meet us over there, and we're on the World Wide Web, www.woodsongsbyrussell.com. Thanks again for joining us. Happy woodworking! Mm -hmm.